Well, hello everybody. This is Three Dot Laws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Alex Laughlin returning to No Prep Kings next week in Idaho. Now, photo go directly to their photo owners. Subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Three Dot Laws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Three Dot Laws shows. So, top fuel racer, pro mod racer, pro stock racer, Alex Laughlin, and also Street Dot Laws Mega Race racer made its No Prep Kings debut last week, running the Future Class in his screw-blown Corvette. Now, Alex is pretty interested in No Prep Kings, but when you are a top fuel driver, I don't think he is looking at NPK as a long-term racing, even if he gets into the Invitational Class. Now, he did pretty good last week, he went out second round, but considering it was his first time on NPK, I think he did pretty good. Especially when competing against guys that run NPK all the time. And the future class is no joke. There are a lot of very fast cars in the NPK future class. Now, this Corvette wasn't built for NPK. This car ran Radio vs. The World a lot of times. And it ran really good and very, very fast. This car has been 360s, if I'm not mistaken, and it's tuned by Frankie Taylor. And Alex also has a very good team behind him. Now, this car was running a 33.5 inch tall tire, while most of the NPK cars run either a 34.5 inch tall tire or a 36 inch tall tire. So that's a pretty big disadvantage. But he is doing some upgrades for the Corvette for next week's Idaho race. So he is putting on a 34 and a half inch tall tire. That should definitely help him run a lot better next week. Now at Tulsa, it was extremely hot. Track conditions were not really good. And he still did pretty good. In Idaho, there's going to be pretty much a high density altitude. The air is not going to be very good. And it's going to be extremely hot as well. So it's going to be challenging for Alex and for basically everybody. So he will be running there, and hopefully he does good. I think it's really cool to see a top fuel racer running NPK. Even though he already appeared on Street Outlaws back in uh, 2017 and 2018 in the Mega Race deal, and he intended to run No Prep back in 2019, and there was a lot of back and forth between him and the No Prep scene back in 2019 when he built a big tire Camaro for No Prep. I'm pretty happy that he is running NPK and he's doing a good job in it. So hopefully we see him at a lot more NPK events running the future class. And who knows? Maybe someday, even though he is a top field racer, he will run in the Invitational.